Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will take you to the next level where you will be seeing the how we can clean the tweets related data and create a word cloud out of it. So if you have seen my previous video, it was about how you can set up a connection between Twitter and R so that you can search the tweets related to your interest and do the data mining of it. So what we have created was uh, uh, an API based on that API we got the API key and access tokens we set up the Twitter authentication we got the tweets and we created a data frame out of tweets and that's the data frame related to the tweets of Trump because that's what we searched it over here and we got the 500 tweets so that's the code we saw as well as some of the configuration from the Twitter site to set up a connection between R and Twitter. Now let's go ahead and uh, start cleaning the tweets. So first of all, we need to import the library TM, which is text mining. So control enter. And then what you need is basically create a corpus and you need to get just the text. If you see, that's the only column you need for doing the text cleaning. So press control enter. And then you remove the words, which is stop words like uh, the, is, me, my, all of those, which does not make a lot of sense. So control enter. And then uh, if you want to remove any of the custom words, then you can remove like by specifying stop words in English. And then what are all the words that you need to remove? So I don't need to remove it uh, as of now. So I'm just keeping it as it is. Apart from that, uh, what we need to do is, is basically, uh, so that's another one which I used it earlier. I don't need to do that. That's a custom way. If there are any URLs, because that's what uh, the uh, Twitter, uh, you know, tweets basically have most of the time. So we need to remove the URL. It's basically, uh, you can use the pattern matching logic using the gsub command and uh, that's the standard one that you can easily figure it out uh, either from the internet so you don't have to reinvent the wheel just go ahead and remove the url by pressing ctrl enter by getting this this uh, pattern mining for identifying a url so ctrl enter that's the remove url and i am just going to remove the url by content underscore transfer function and specifying that i need to remove the url from my tweets after this, uh, we want to remove the punctuations. So if we have uh, any specific punctuation, then we can get it within it, within a function, again with the help of the pattern matching logic, like uh, some space or some, some other kind of uh, punctuation that we have. If you don't have, uh, then you can use the, the uh, direct function, which is nothing but remove punctuation. So things like, uh, what I can do is my corpus if I my tweets are straightforward and I'm not having much issues with then I can use my corpus comma remove punctuation so I can use that control enter and all of the general punctuations which is stored in this function for removing the punctuation will be removed and after that you can go ahead and uh, you know convert entire text into lowercase control enter and then remove the white spaces so again tm underscore map function say my corpus and strip white spaces and stem the document i have already explained a lot of time in the previous videos about what is stamping and then finally uh, you can directly go to word cloud but if you want to create a document term matrix basically to see how the terms are appearing in different documents you can do that and inspect it and i have already shown it in my previous videos but let me go directly to the word cloud here in this case and see the word cloud related to trump tweets in actions control enter word cloud minimum frequency five that means it should appear at least five times and if i zoom it that's how uh, the words are coming as you can see Trump is coming most of the time and uh, probably that's not what you want. So what you can do is, as I have mentioned earlier, 
you can take the example that uh, you want to remove any stop word any specific one then you can do that and probably here in this case let me remove it uh, and my stop word is nothing but let me this entire piece trump and if i go ahead and press ctrl enter looks like the my stop word was not created so let me just press ctrl enter one more time trump and let me see my stop words and let me try to pass it over here dm underscore map my corpus remove words my stop word and press ctrl enter and yeah it's worked fine and let me go back and try to again plot the cloud simple cloud and now let's see okay now it is making a uh, much more better uh sense so acknowledge deal water re real donald trump amp immediate or we will know climate support again you may want to remove the word like donald the president all of those things by combining it over here so that's how you know uh, the process goes when you really look into the cloud and say okay these words doesn't make much sense don't all the president generally the should be removed from the stop word but as i said if it is not removed you have the flexibility where you can say okay within that my stop word you i can go ahead and specify combination of words by saying okay i don't want the i don't want donald and i don't want p-r-e-s-i-t so control enter control enter and let me plot it again the word cloud control enter so let's see yeah those three words have been removed and i can now better see how what are other words which is coming so mexico is saying a lot of time or the people are basically saying a lot of time dad water climate support even vote make obama florida all of those things so that's that's the idea i wanted to give you uh, apart from that quick tuning that you can do is most frequent word is coming down there in the center so what you can do is you can copy this entire piece go into the word cloud and say random dot order is equals to false press control enter and then you will see the most frequent word are coming in the center so that will help you better understand most frequent words and surrounded by the less frequent words. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video and I will meet you in the new video where we will talk about uh, some of the more advanced things related to the sentiment analysis about what it is and um, how we can categorize the tweets whether people are really angry about that, happy about that, sad about that, all of those sentiments that that is there and we can bifurcate those sentiments by different color types and things like that so that's an interesting piece uh, stay tuned for that and i'll meet you in the next video to talk about that subject